back everyone you may be in a situation where for some reason android auto is just not working now as you can see we're not in a car but there's more that meets the eye with android auto than just plugging it into your car it's actually a full-fledged application so the first thing i recommend doing is making sure that the you know specific wire that you're using and plugging into your car to the bottom of your port you want to make sure that is actually fully functional and you want to make sure that doesn't have any issues there can be a lot of times where you go ahead and actually try plugging in you know the android auto connector or the USB port to your specific, you know, device, and that doesn't seem to work. So that's probably the first thing I'd recommend looking at. Now let's say that doesn't seem to be the issue. Well, the next thing I'd recommend doing is making sure that your device even has Android Auto enabled. So if you have a phone that supports Android Auto, then you should be able to come straight into your phone software like this. You want to click here, and what you want to do, you want to go ahead and type in Android Auto just like this, and you should be able to see some sort of Android Auto settings come up. So here what we can do is we can click on Android Auto. We will see Android Auto right here. We can click here and all we want to do is make sure that these settings are actually enabled. So you can see right here, we do have start Android Auto while locked, start music automatically. You can go ahead and configure a lot of different things about Android Auto right within your phone without even having to do anything. So you can also set up wireless Android Auto if your specific device supports it. And that's really all you have to do. As soon as your phone and Bluetooth connect automatically to your car, you should be able to go ahead and set these things up automatically. And that's really all you have to do. And right here where it says start Android auto automatically, this is something where you're probably going to have to configure. If it's set on, if you used on the last car or whatever, you wanna go ahead and set this as default or set this as always. If this is always set up, that's probably what I would recommend doing. Now that covers this. Again, you're going to have to go through and kind of customize this, whatever your liking is. And you can also customize the launcher. You can do a lot of different things with an Android Auto as well. Now let's say that looks good, but you're still having issues. The next thing I'd probably recommend doing is going back into your settings right here. You want to scroll down until you see apps, which is right here. What you want to do here is you want to find Android Auto. So you can see for us, it's pretty much the first one. So we want to go ahead and click on it. We'll come into this panel. And all you want to do is make sure it's not disabled and you want to go ahead and force stop this specific application for the time being. Now, this is not going to, you know, remove it from your phone or anything. This is just going to temporarily stop it. And this should put you in a really good position where you can go ahead and use Android Auto on your device. And that's pretty much all you have to do. If you're still having issues, you can try updating your phone, but typically you should be good to go for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.